Hey, you are watching Cow Free Kicks. Today it's all about a brand new silhouette from Nike. It is the Nike Air Max Zephyr. As with every shoe review, I will be looking into five main things when I review this pair of Nike Air Max Zephyrs. And at the end of the video, I'll give them an overall rating out of five stars. If you like what you see as you're going along, please do not forget to click the little thumbs up like button below on your device. And if you've got two seconds, you can also subscribe to the channel below by clicking the little red subscribe button and the little bell that pops up next to it. If you click that, you get a fresh notification every time a video drops on the channel. Okay, let's get this review of the Nike Air Max Zephyr kicked off straight away by checking them out on feet. Currently, the Nike Air Max Zephyr comes in this green and black colorway, but there is rumored to be two more colorways dropping very soon. Now, I like all of the colorways. I like the bold colors, and I like the simple black colorway that's also due to be released. That's not my main issue with this sneaker. The actual issue is the shaping of this new silhouette from Nike. Now, it is revolutionary because it's the first time they've taken this Air Max technology and put it on the upper of a sneaker with these three, one, two, three zonal air units on the upper of the shoe. Now they're very, very soft to the touch and very bouncy, a lot softer to the touch than the actual air unit itself. Now they are there for aesthetic reasons, to make them pop, and also they're there because of adding extra comfort, which I'll go on to later in the review. But what I actually think they've done is just created an incredibly bulky sneaker. First off, look at how big this sneaker is. This sneaker is huge, absolutely massive shoe. When you look at it from up top, these air units here are just adding such a large amount of size and definition to the sneaker that just makes your foot look very bulky, especially as you go towards the toe, which is also bulky. Now what you get with this is a full synthetic textile upper. You've got overlays on top of this mesh here at the front of the shoe, just on the toe, and with some swoosh branding at the bottom of these very thin kind of pencil round laces. As you move to the air units, they're actually fixed to the shoe with very, very thick plastic. And it's quite hard and also looks kind of cheap when you get up close. And also it's quite sharp on the edges here. And I just don't think it looks great. Now I do like the shapes that they've made these air units out of, but I just don't think it's the best looking sneaker to be honest. I just think it looks too chunky overall. You move around to the back, you've got a very large amount of padding around this hardened heel cup. Then you've got this foam midsole detailing, which kind of waves up around the shoe on top of this huge 720 air unit. As you move to the bottom, there's some nice cutaways on the sole. Overall, I just don't think I'm a massive fan of it just because of how big it looks. It just looks huge and chunky, and there's possibly one too many overlays on it for me, to be honest. Next, I wanna move on to their comfort, where I wanna put this 720 Air Max unit to the test on the curb.
So the Nike Air Max Zephyrs come with this 720 Air Max unit that is incredibly bulky towards the heel of the foot and then it tapers off towards the toe and it's kind of taken over by this foam mid at the front of the sneaker. Now with the 720 Air Max unit, I've always found that it offers really nice comfort in the heel and the midfoot, but it doesn't offer too much comfort around the toe. And you can see from the curb test that it was nice and responsive in the heel and the midfoot area, but again, very little response from the toe. Now, another thing I find with the 720 Air Max units that I find a bit uncomfortable is the fact that they are tapered quite heavily from heel to toe. So I always feel like when you're walking on them, you're kind of being propelled forward into the shoe. Now that for me creates a sizing issue with these sneakers. Now they do fit very snug, but you might want to go half a size up because of that action where you're walking and you're almost being pushed forwards. I found the toe box area a little bit cramped. So if I was to buy these again, I probably would go half a size up. In terms of this added air unit on the upper of the shoe, I don't think it offers too much additional comfort, to be honest. When you put your hands inside the shoe, you can feel the bulge that's coming from these additional zonal units on both sides of the sneaker. But I don't think it translates really into comfort on the upper of the shoe. There's a huge amount of foam around the heel of the sneaker, which adds very nice comfort. And the tongue of the shoe is like almost like a neoprene foam, which is very well padded. So you do get a lot of comfort on top. I just think the Air Max unit at the bottom is lacking really in overall comfort. Next, I wanna move on to their weight where I'm gonna put these giant sneakers on the scales to show you how much they weigh. Coming in at 469 grams. I've already said it, I'm gonna say it again. It's a huge shoe, it's massive. The amount of overlays you've got on this, the amount of foam detailing, this additional air unit on the side of the sneaker and on the tongue, the 720 unit, this mid foam, everything is adding up to create an absolute monster weight for this sneaker of 469 grams. That's almost a kilogram that you're wearing on your feet with these shoes. Incredibly heavy pair of sneakers. Next, I wanna move on to their breathability, where I'm gonna pump smoke through the sneaker to show you how breathable this heavily detailed upper is. I do the smoke test on sneakers to show how breathable the uppers are. And what I'm looking for is speed of release and the amount of smoke that's released. Unfortunately, you didn't get much of either with the Nike Air Max Zephyr. What you've got, the only unexposed mesh areas are this area on the toe box here and on both sides, just around here on the side of the toe box area. The rest of it has TPU and synthetic material detailing on it, especially quite heavily set here where the zonal air units are put on the upper. Because of that, it's not a breathable shoe. And when I had these on, my feet did heat up very quickly. So not a bad winter shoe at all if you live somewhere where it's gonna get extremely cold because these will keep your feet very warm. But otherwise, breathability, a real letdown to be honest. Next, I wanna move on to their price. Now these come in at 160 pounds. I think that's a lot of money to be honest for a pair of sneakers, especially one that unfortunately doesn't offer that much for the money. So I do think the price point is too much for these shoes. Really wouldn't expect to pay more than 125 for these if I'm really honest. Now I wanna move on to their overall score. Now these are gonna get, unfortunately, a very, very poor two stars. Pains me to give a pair of sneakers two stars, but when you're looking at them overall, you're expecting these for the price to give you great comfort, but they don't, unfortunately. And you're expecting them to be, you know, really good looking, but I just don't think they've pulled it off in the looks department. They're an absolutely giant pair of sneakers, and I just think they're too big, there's too much going on. They're too heavy and they're not breathable enough. So for that reason, two stars is all I can give these sneakers. If you've liked what you've seen again, please do not forget to give the video a big thumbs up, click the like button. Also, you can subscribe to the channel or follow me on Instagram. Drop any comments if you've got any questions. I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks so much for watching. See you again soon. Bye.